something you don't want to say to your wife. Is, right. Why are you so worked up about this? You know, <laughs> not a good start. Oh, in, you're in, so in, emotional. In, yeah, why are you, why are oh, you, are you so God, emotional? No. Well, welcome to the workshop with the guys of A Better Us. We've got Mike Pinball Clemens, Woo! Dan McCauley, Eric oh, May. Oh. And uh, <laughs> here we are looking to do a little home improvement. Yes, yes. <laughs> a la Tim the Toolman Taylor. <laughs> anyway, we are uh, always looking for new tools and new ways and new things to understand. And, and that, that clip we just watched with Shanti Feldhan. It had some aha moments for me, for sure, mm -hmm. because I, I see that and I think, oh my goodness, I, I've been doing things wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I need to make make a shift there. Uh, we, like typically, we, we guys, yeah, we like to be Mr. Fix It, right? Here, mm -hmm. you were in the workshop, we can see a problem, you, you fix it right away, you know, you, you hit the nail on the head and they say, there you go, bang, nailed it. Uh, but But that's not the way it's supposed to be, really, but here we are in the workshop propagating uh, that <laughs> that wrong uh, idea, but um, we're going to try to f fix it maybe by uh, by well, digging into it a little more. I, I like what Shanti does there because she kind of she like tricks us a bit. Yeah, she 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 puts it in language for for us men because typically we've been told, let's okay, put because we, we stand there just like you said with our tools. We're like, what? How can we fix what's going on for my wife here? But and then we're, typically we're told, well, resist trying to fix it. And just listen, right? But she says, don't put your fix-it tools away. But there's there's two problems. Yeah. And the second problem is the technical issue. The first one is about her feelings. So she gives us permission to fix it, but to, to focus our fixing on the thing that we that needs fixing, which is for her to be heard and her feelings to be understood. Mm -hmm. And so the tool that we bring out at that point is these guys right here. Oh. Right? So we listen. We want to give her permission, uh, you know, per se, to like, okay, I'm listening. Speak, tell me. And then I think after this, the second tool there, she's basically saying is asking questions. Like, and, and like simply, so she, she says, what you're doing is you're helping her get the poison out. So you want to help her express herself. So a simple question like, how did that make you feel? Mm -hmm. Is a tool that we can suddenly use. We're fixing, but it's a different kind of fixing. But we're, and, and and as guys, like she said, we're, 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 we might be afraid of that at first. Like if I say, "How does that make you feel?" I'm gonna be here all night. I got things to do, you know. A little, <laughs> but but like. You know what? If you don't address it properly, this problem isn't going to get solved. And so in some ways, you're going to be dealing with it maybe even longer than the night. But if you just open that door and say, how did that make you feel? And let her get to the feelings. We can talk about if there's actual things that need to be fixed later. But and let her get that poison out. For me, that was a light bulb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> well, my light bulb moment yeah. uh, here is because this is something that I struggle because I'm a fix it guy. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, uh, well, I guess we, we all are. And that's that's probably why we're so. here. <laughs> in, in <laughs> setting. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the thing that I, I kind of snapped on was. That's exactly what I should do with the kids. Mm -hmm. Kid falls down. Right. It makes sense. My kid falls down, right? And they're running over a wet surface that they shouldn't have been on, right? The very first thing is, you shouldn't be, right? The very first thing is, how are you, mm -hmm. right? Are you okay? Is everything good? And, and, and after everything is good, right, and we check out, then whether it's five minutes later, right, or five days later, right, we can say, okay, now, listen, you really shouldn't run on, on this type of surface, especially when it's wet, right, or, or whatever the, the particular lesson is. But, but actually uh, reaching them and, and trying to reach their immediate need, it just, it, it makes so much sense. And I'm thinking now that I was the one that wasn't sensible in this whole thing, right? That obviously we, we should look after them and, and their emotional uh, feelings first and and then from there we can go on and 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 maybe offer some some tips or 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 potential uh, information or instruction yeah I like that that yeah. is really good really good and uh, it reminded me of this there's that well-known skit I think we've mentioned it before on the show of it's not about the nail oh, yeah. and oh, uh, oh, the yeah. husband and wife are chatting yeah. and she's just sharing her she has this pain in her head and she's has this headache and he, he's 
he's like pointing, but then, and then it, it pans out and it shows this huge nail right through her, right through her skull and her head. And he's like pointing out the nail, but she's just like, no, 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 not this, is, this is how nail. I'm feeling. Yeah. It's the whole thing's not about the nail yeah. because, and what I found in my marriage with Kara is that she really like prioritizes the journey of talking it through, mm -hmm. uh, of feeling all the feels and, um, and she prioritizes being heard. And that's something that I, yeah, as, as the person that is representing the un, married under 10 years, uh, that's still something that I am, am working on. Because, yeah, I would love to be like, uh, here's a solution. Awesome. Kiss on the forehead. Let's go. <laughs> Les said he's been married over 30 years. And, and he's that's still. Like, and he's yeah. still yeah. So. so Well, hey, <laughs> me too. That, that's, uh, yeah. I, I'm definitely there because, uh, you know, initially I started thinking, What's the big deal? You know, I, why is she all worked up about this? Something you don't want to say to your wife is, right. why are you so worked up about this? You know, <laughs> not a good start. No. In the, You're so in, emotional. In, yeah, why are, oh, why are you no, so emotional? No, no. Even though to, to me it seems irrational, just the way my mind works, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just kind of the laid back and nothing ruffled right. my feathers kind of yeah, guy, and, yeah. and uh, her not so much. So, um, but we, we need to realize that uh, that first step that she said, um, is, is, is not just asking about her feelings, but also even going further to empathize, meaning you feel and, and you say, oh, man, that, that must have really hurt. That, mm. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. And so that must be so tough. How, yeah. how are you dealing with that? How yeah. are you feeling? That's like gold to her. That's saying, yeah. okay, he, he actually did listen. <laughs> he gets it. He's not just writing me off because he thinks I'm, I'm some crazy emotional That uh, would be like a, a step beyond humoring her by listening to right, her. It right. takes it beyond so you've emphasized, you've em not emphasized, <laughs> empathized yeah. with it. Yeah. And maybe even asking, how can I help? Mm -hmm. Like, wow, how are you processing that and how can I help? I yeah. yeah, that's good. And he, even, even instead of offering a solution right away, like after you've empathized, a question like that, yeah. You know, is even maybe you don't know what to do. A lot of times, I don't know what <laughs> yeah. how to fix this one. But how how can I help is a great question mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And That's but good. but you and the thing is, you have helped is what she's saying just by letting them express mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and just it's pulling that poison out. And that that analogy was like a big one uh, yeah. for me. It was like, oh, okay. So by letting her talk about how she felt, that is us helping without doing anything it feels to us like i'm not really fixing anything but you are yeah just like my you ears are. are open that's yes. all i've done but yes. that's all i want <laughs> like it's so yeah right. that's good mm -hmm. so uh you know what one thing i was thinking about when i when i look at all these tools like in every house that that i've lived in our, our family i always i always one of the first things i want to do is organize my tools so i i, I get the pegboard out and I, I get the workbench and, and i get the hooks right. and I, I hang this here and I say, oh, okay that this is this is really good but they don't do a lot of good just hanging there. You actually have to pick them up and you have to use them. Yeah. So, so you know, in, in marriage, uh, you know, ministry, you, you learn something. Maybe you, you, you see this video, you say, oh, there, there's a good tool, you know, of, of, of listening first and really listening. Uh, but we need to, and I'm guilty of that because I, I, I've learned it, I've read the books and so on. Got to take it but, off the pegboard. You got to take that tool off the pegboard and, and say, you know what, in a circumstance, I, I need to use this tool or else it doesn't uh, do any good. Just Make sure the battery is charged. It's ready Charge to up that battery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, Good's look up. for an example, look for an opportunity to listen yeah, to your nice. wife a little bit more than you ever have opportunity. in the next day or like two. That. An opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah. she'll probably like it. It'll go well for you, for sure. <laughs> I think the operative thing there was in the next day or two. Right. Let's, let's make it about it. Yes, just do it right away. Use you know, that tool. Yes. Done. Okay, that's good. Thanks, guys, awesome. in the workshop. <laughs> it's good stuff. Stay with us. More Better Us to Come.